And it reads, so all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation said to them, if only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in this wilderness, why has the Lord brought us to this land to fall by the sword that our wives and children should become victims? Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? So they said to one another, let us select a leader and return to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel. But Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes. And they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, The land we pass through to spy out is, is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are our bread. Their protection has departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. And all the congregation said to the stone, to stone with stones. Now the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of meeting before all the children of Israel. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me? Oh, my, my, my. And how long will they not believe me? With all the signs which I have performed among them, I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them. You don't want God to do that to you. And I will make of you a nation greater and mightier, mightier than they. And Moses said to the Lord, Then the Egyptians will hear it, for by your might you brought these people up from among them. Now I'm going to stop right there. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Stop right there. I just got a little simple topic, and it's entitled, Do You Have an Attitude of Gratitude? All right, now. The children of Israel. Many of you know it's a familiar text. We, we, we watch it on, on Easter Sunday with Ten Commandments, how uh, they, they, God delivered them out of the plagues, and, and they had a mean army behind them, Pharaoh's army behind them, and they had the Red Sea facing them. It was no way out. And so they panicked. I mean, uh, paralyzing fear came over millions of them. But God made a way. Yeah. Moses said, watch. And, and watch and see the salvation of the Lord. And they made the Red Sea into a highway. Now, God brought them out of something. He, he made ways for them. But when they got into the wilderness, they still complained. Their attitude was funky. When they got there, they had nothing to drink. God made a way for them that way. They began to get hungry. God gave them the best food you can get, straight from heaven, manna from heaven. But they still complained about that. A trip that should have took 11 days, which was 40 miles, took them 40 years. And a lot of it had to do with them, their attitude or lack of attitude of gratitude. You know anybody like that? Every time you turn around, they're complaining about something. Nothing satisfies them. They're not happy about nothing. They're scorned. They're, they're resentful and, and so forth. I hate being around people like that because that spirit can jump on you. Oh, 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 we deal in the spirits. We deal in the spirits. And then you find yourself complaining. Then you go somewhere else and carry that spirit to somebody else. But I have an attitude of gratitude because anybody know how far God has brought you He's brought you from a mighty long way. I know that's kind of cliche, but he has brought you a mighty long way. You're not where you want to be, but thank God you're not where you used to be. Some of us, some of us used to be on drugs. I can, I can attest to that. Some of you be out, out, in, the, out in the world just doing any and everything but serving the Lord. Some of you have been delivered from cancer. Hallelujah. Some of you still may have it, but you got to press your way. See, one thing I learned about complaining, it don't help nothing. It doesn't help nothing. Anything it adds to it, it makes you more uh, fretful and, and, and more ungrateful. God loves a grateful person. 
the most blessed people on this planet are the ones that are grateful, the ones he can trust. He can't trust if you're always uh, griping, murmuring, complaining about stuff. Like the children of Israel, he told them that you're going. Some of you're going to die in the wilderness. Amen. Some of you right now are in a wilderness situation. I don't know how bad it is, and you can't see your way out. But God has promised you that He would take you to the land of milk and honey. But you got to believe that. So right now, right now, that that wilderness experience you're going through, He's provided for a roof over your head. You've been drinking whatever you want every day. I ain't talking about alcoholic beverages. Lord, help me right through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm talking about he been, you might not always have lobster and, 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 and seafood every day. Look, I, I, I like hot dogs and pork and beans. But you ate something. I don't care if you're a ramen noodle diet, but you ate something. He's kept you. He's kept you. He's kept you from your mind going crazy. He's kept you. He brought you through many Dangerous tools and said, and you're still here. So, so why are we still complaining? Everybody has complained about something that the Lord didn't do. Maybe they think he was, wasn't on time. Because the Lord can't take his time about stuff. But we got to understand, we're on his time. Now, but he's always on time. He's never failed me yet. I can give you a hundred instances when I needed him. But if he gave it to, to, to me too soon, excuse me, then it would have been messed up. But he got a plan. He got a flow about him. So when he blesses you, it's on his time. Amen. Amen. So I'm so glad that God had delivered me. But those of you who may be in the wilderness experience, do not complain. Oh, that angers God. Whether you know it or not, it angers him when people complain and gripe about things. The time you spend on, on you know, complaining about this and that, you could be praising the Lord. I'm telling you, when I praise him, when I'm going through, it makes me feel better. When I praise him, when I praise him, it glorify him. And so when I do that, sometimes he brings the bless blessing to me quickly or quicker. I'm telling you, when I met my wife, when I met before I even met her, I said, Lord, I need a soulmate. I'm tired of going through this, this, this woman, that woman, the wrong one. And I prayed for her, and I was sincere about it. And I used to complain, but after that, I said, I'm not going to complain no more. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, her cousin and my sister were best friends. Book us up. And the rest is history. But I prayed for her. I said, Lord, make sure she's anointed. I don't want no knucklehead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 he'll give you the desires of your heart. I don't play with this. I don't play with this. And so he blessed me. He blessed me because I prayed for him. And I, and I, was, and, and I didn't complain about it. And so I said, Lord, thank you right through here. She couldn't have any kids. But we, I don't know my son went there, but we got a son. She couldn't have any kids, but we got a son who's healthy. He came a little early, but he's healthy. He eats a lot, but he's healthy. Amen, amen. And I love him just the way he is. And he's a, he's a prodigy, a drumming prodigy. Say, God will give you the desire of his heart. That's why I don't complain. I told my wife. And, and, and throughout our murder, I'm not going to say we never complain, but it's been times that I've complained about my job. And she said, baby, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. I said, okay, you know, you're right. Because I make more. I've never been to college a day in my life. But I make more some people uh, that have college degrees. Some people are out of work, and they have college degrees. So I thank the Lord that I do have a job. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes she's going through. And I encourage her, baby, complain not going to help. Just take God's word. It's going to be all right. And I call her later on and say, baby, guess what? I got the job I wanted. I got another job. I said, we're going to be all right right through here. I said, that's, that's the mindset that we all have to have. God does not want nobody to be complaining. The children of Israel, because of their complaining, and, 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 and they, went, they went through hell. Some of them made it out. Some of them didn't make it. But millions did die. So I just want y'all to know that y'all got to not complain about little small things. Now, every time you needed God, he was there on time, wasn't he? That's what he's all. Every time. He's never missed an opportunity. Every time you needed him, he showed up on time. Yeah, we lost loved ones. Some of them may have got our cars repossessed. Some of them may have lost our homes or got foreclosed on. And you might be staying with somebody, but he got something better for you. Maybe he didn't want you to. Maybe you got that house on your own, and God had nothing to do with it. So now he's trying to get you where you should be 
so you can give him the glory for getting that house. He got so much more in store for you. But you got to have an attitude of gratitude. Come on, say that. You got to have an attitude of gratitude. A funky attitude ain't going to get you nowhere. All they're going to do is anger God even more. But I'm so glad that God is patient with me. And he's patient with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He could have cut us off a long time ago for our funky attitude and, and being hateful and, and being resentment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And complaining all the time about stuff we ought not be complaining about in the first place. But he still made ways out of no way for you, didn't he? Didn't he? You might not be where you want to, but the best is yet to come. I'm talking to somebody here. Come on, come on. You got to take God. Don't you know there's over 8,000 promises of God in the Bible? And I believe every one of them. Yeah, yeah, he's going to make you the head and not the tail. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be above and not beneath. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be a lender. Yeah, I, I, I borrowed money from them, from them payday loan places before myself. But I'm going to be the lender and not the borrower. Oh, he's going to make more ways for you than you can imagine. But you got to have an attitude. Amen. I'm talking to somebody in here. Look, 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 look. look. Don't, don't waste your time. And, and see, when you, when you complain all the time, you're glorifying the devil. Anybody know that? So the time, the time you spend complaining, you could be praising the Lord and glorifying him. For he is worthy of all our praise. He brought you out of death's way. He brought you out of depression. He brought you out of so much stuff that the walls were closing in on you. Thought you were going to give up. But a strength came in you and said, Lord, I, you know the number of the Lord. He said, Lord, I thank you for the resolve. Thank you for stepping in, in the nick of time. I wanted to give up, but you wouldn't let me. The Holy Spirit wouldn't let me. I said, Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, I thank you for not giving up on me. I'm still a part of the plan. I got a purpose. I got a destiny in you. Lord, I thank you that you didn't give up. Anybody thankful that God didn't give up on you? Yeah, 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 yeah. When he, when he kept pricking your heart, even before you got saved, he was calling you in, and you kept on rejecting him over and over and over. But he didn't give up on you. You were in a crack house, and he didn't give up on you. Yeah, you were on the corner. You were selling drugs. You were doing everything but serving the God. He didn't give up on you. Don't you know some people only reject him one time and they're no longer with him? Thank God for his glory. Thank God for his presence. Thank God for his patience. Thank God for his grace that he extended over us time and time again. Thank you for his mercy. Yeah, yeah, Lord, I won't complain. Yeah, yeah, dark clouds are over my head, but I won't complain. Yeah, you brought me, brought me through too much. I won't complain. I can't make it without you, Lord. Anybody know you can't make it? If you think you can make it without the Lord, you're being fooled. The devil is deceiving you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only because of him that I'm still here. The devil, the devil can bless you, but it's up to no good. He's looking to set you up, but when God blesses you, yeah, yeah, you got to give him the glory. It's for your own good. Yeah, 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 I thank God for his glory. I thank God for his presence. Amen, amen. Oh, I feel the presence of the, my help is coming. Oh, it's too, my help is, Lord, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. I thank you, God, for having gratitude. Lord, without you, I would not be here. Anybody believe? Anybody know that? Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Like I said, I'm, I'm not trying to get along when I left the Holy Spirit. tells me otherwise, but I do want to be mindful of the man of the house. But it's four points. Four points, and I'll be out your way. The first thing is prayer. Y'all might want to write this down. Prayer. And we hear all the time, prayer changes things. It does. Prayer do change things. The effectual for every prayer of a righteous man avail much. Not just a man. When he says man, he's talking about everybody, man and woman. So when you pray to the Lord, I'm talking about sincerely. And you come in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it's going to avail much. We have to pray without ceasing. We pray for ourselves. But you got to pray for other folks too. This is all about you. Because sometimes when you wake up in the middle of the night and you feel like, okay, I got to go to the bathroom. But a lot of times, it's for God wants you to get on your knees. You might be interceding for somebody who was going through at that time. 
you know, somebody might be out try to try to kill them. And you pray, you intercede, you don't know what's going on. The next day you hear, oh, so-and-so, I was so-and-so place, and this man was trying to rob me. And you say, oh, Lord, thank you. I was interceding for that person. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's real, it's real. It happens, it happens. You got to pray, no matter, even when you don't feel like it. And now sometimes it's impossible to pray 24-7, but when you're driving your car, you can pray. Yeah, yeah, when you're on your job, you can pray. Yeah, when you're in the bathroom, you can pray. When you're eating, you can pray. You can pray at all times. Hallelujah. The next one, the next one is peace. The God says, I will give you peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you keep my mind stayed, your mind stayed on thee, I will give you perfect peace. But we got to, we, we can't do anything if we don't have peace. If we don't have peace, we're going through the motions. It's like your mind's in turmoil, and you can't be all you can be for the Lord. You got to ask God for peace. Peace that passes all understanding. And this finite mind of ours, he'll give you peace to keep pressing your way to see what the end is going to be like. Anybody need some peace today? With all the hell you've been going through, yeah, yeah, your, your job acting crazy, your spouse acting crazy, your kids acting crazy, the people out there just acting crazy, and you feel like you're about to lose your mind because you don't have any peace. But the Lord can give you some peace. Yeah, yeah, all you got to do is ask for it. Yeah, yeah, we need peace to make it in these last days. While everything is chaotic all around us and, and turmoil and, and you see all this stuff going on. But God can give you peace in the midst of your storm. Yeah, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, when I lost my mother, I was only 23 years old and, and I thought I was going to lose my mind. But all of a sudden, a peace came over me that I cannot explain. And I knew it was nothing but God. I said, Lord, thank you that I'm not going to lose my mind. I can make it because I know she wants me to keep pressing my way. I can make it. I can make it. Lord, I thank you. Oh, he'll give it to you, but you got to be sincere and ask him for it. God can do anything but fail. I know. I know for my, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I thought, look, I'm telling you, I thought I was going to lose my mind. It was like my mind was starting to close in and I couldn't even speak. And all of a sudden, in the nick, I was sitting in the bathroom on the bathtub, and all of a sudden, in the nick of time, he just opened my mind up, and this warm sensation came all over. I said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for your peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he did it for me, he may have done it for you, and he can do it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next thing, the promises, the promises of God. God, like I said, God has eight, th over 8,000 promises in his word for you. Now, every, all of them don't say promise beside it, but if it's coming from God, it is a promise. Yeah, yeah, he's not going to fall back on his word. If he says it, that says it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive it. Yeah, yeah, that's in Malachi. That's the tithing book, but that can apply to your obedience too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you just stay focused. Yeah, yeah. God can do anything. Yeah, yeah, he promised you. He promised you that he'll be with you to the end, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen? It says that in the Bible numerous times. And sometimes we got to be, be reminded of that because sometimes we, uh, we doubt God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Although he's proven himself time and time again to us, we still doubt him at times. Yeah, I'm a witness. I'm a witness right through here. I'm not going to fake the funk and, and say, yeah, I've never doubted God. But he's proved himself. And that's been a long time since I have. But because of what he's done in the past, I know he'll do it in the future. So I made up my mind, I'm never going to doubt him again. Why? Because God is going to deliver every time. And if he don't, you still praise him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He promises. He promises that we're going to be the head, not the tail. I love Deuteronomy. He, I preached on that before, a long time ago, and it says, um, abundant, ab abundant blessing for your obedience. God has so much more in store for us that if we just took a peek of it, it would blow our mind. The devil already knows. That's why he's coming against you so much. He don't want you to, he wants to take your faith away so you can doubt God. God has so many blessings he want to give to you. The Bible says that he goes, he goes to and fro over the entire earth, seeming, seeking who he may bless. But he's looking for those who are not going to gripe, those who have an attitude. Okay, amen. 
He wants to bless you. He's ready, he's willing, and he's more than able to bless you. God is a God that's not going to lie. You can take him at his word. The last thing, the last thing is our praise. Oh, we got to praise the Lord. You can't sit up in church, listen to the minister, or listen to the praise team or music, and not praise him. If, 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 if a song come on, one of Kirk Franklin's songs, I'm being real about it, and you know he got them uplifting songs, and you're still sitting there, something, something is wrong with you. The devil got a grip on you. Because the Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. If you're still breathing, you got breath, you ought to praise the Lord. I'm going to pray until I die, no matter what I'm going through. Now, sometimes y'all might say, oh, that's easier said than done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if, what if you lose a, a close loved one? What if you get sick and you can only lay down? I can still have a praise in my heart. Amen. Yeah, no matter what, I'm going to praise him. Through the good and the bad, for he's been that good to me. He brought me from a mighty long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be out on, on I did drugs for nine years. I was homeless for nine years. And I saw everything out there. But God protected me. Some things happened to me, but I'm still here. That's why I got to praise him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I got to praise him. He brought me from, from somewhere. I, I was homeless, sleeping in cars and in ban abandoned houses and all that. But I'm here today. I've been married for 15 years. I've been serving the Lord. I'm a master plumber. He's, he's, he's called me to preach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not only that, I just love the Lord. He's keeping me. He's still keeping me. Yeah, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I made up in my mind I'm not going back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what it was like back then. I got enough hell to go through with the devil than to go back on drugs. Yeah, yeah. He delivered me, and he delivered some of you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going back. I made up in my mind. Yeah, he brought me out, out of darkness, into his marvelous light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He picked me up, and he turned me around, and he placed my feet on solid ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. And some of you, if we knew some of your life story, I'd be praising God for you yourself, myself. He's been that good to you. He brought you all off the all off the operating table when you when you died. He he's made ways for you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only but God. Only but God. It wasn't your intellect. It wasn't money. It wasn't who you know. But only but the grace of God that brought you out. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I still got a anybody still got a praise for the Lord. For all the hell you've been through. Yeah, yeah. Everybody here been through something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are coming against you, coming against you time and time and time again, and you're still here. You didn't lose your mind. When you lose your mind, you're gone. You're gone. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing, but he kept you. He's a mind regular. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's a heart fixer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thank the Lord that he kept my mind through all the stuff I've been through. And then, and not only that, he'll enhance it. Yeah, yeah. He'll give you the mind to serve. Because it's with the mind that we serve the Lord. It's not just the heart. It's not our spirit. But it's with the mind. you got to make up in your mind to whom you will serve. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got praise for the Lord. Yeah, I don't care how young you are. You can praise the Lord. I don't care how old you are. If you got a bad hip, you got bad knees, you can lift your hands up. There's always a way you can praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Minister James, no matter how he get out there, he do his little shout. He said, I'm going to praise him no matter what. My wife, she gets out there no matter how bad she feels. She praises him no matter what because she is thankful. She is there thankful. Anybody is thankful in the house. The Lord said, in all things, give thanks to him. You got to open your mouth. If you're in a dead church, they ain't praising, you better get up out of there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You at the wrong place. You need to go somewhere where they praise the Lord. They worship him in spirit and in truth. I praise the name of the Lord in this place, for he has been good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just like the children of Israel. You don't want to be like them in the wilderness experience too long. Yeah, he can bring y'all tomorrow. He can bring y'all next week. Yeah, another month will be a new year. He can bring y'all next year. Yeah, but you got to have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your presence. Lord, I thank you. I praise you.